it's that time of year guys i've actually had to put the ring light on because this lighting is terrible i thought i would start this vlog off with a little baby clothes haul because i am just obsessed with buying baby clothes <laughs> i did try and film a little realistic we can be life kind of video this week which i'm gonna insert after this haul but as you'll soon find out it didn't go to plan both kids ended up being poorly i didn't really get a chance to film much and it just turned into a little bit of a fail but i don't really want to get rid of the video because there is some cute moments in it so i'm gonna include that vlog at the end of this haul and i thought i would just show you the bits that i've picked up over the past week i've had a lot of time to do online shopping this week because we've just been at chilled on the sofa most of the week with them being poorly so i'm gonna start with zara i've already started hanging these up so they are on hangers at the minute <laughs> these hangers are really good they're from primark and i'm a little bit good because last time i went i wanted to go and get some more but they didn't have any so i hope that they're gonna bring them back i really like them they're just really good quality and they're really cheap so yeah i'm gonna start with zara the first thing that i've got is for ali and she is going to absolutely love this she's got an obsession with barbie at the minute to the point that she actually associates anything pink with Barbie. Any girl with blonde hair with Barbie, she's just obsessed. <laughs> if you watched my last video, we did a little bit of pumpkin painting. And when I was painting, we had loads of paintbrushes out and she kept saying Barbie and pointing to the paintbrushes. I didn't have a clue what she was on about until I realised there was one pink paintbrush and she was saying Barbie to tell me she wanted that pink paintbrush. <laughs> She's literally obsessed. So I saw this on the Zara website and I just had to get her in. She is going to lose her mind when she sees this. So this was £16.99. Zara jumpers are a little bit pricey but they're so worth the money. I say it all the time but they are just my favourite. I've got this in three to four years. She's currently in two to three going into three to four but I've been getting size three to four in these jumpers for a little while just because I like them to be a little bit oversized. But yeah I just love Zara jumpers. I, I just think the best. I also picked her up at this one. I thought this was very cute. This one was £11.99 so a little bit cheaper and it's just got a panda on it. It says panda vibes. I like the colour of this. It's the kind of colour scheme that I like to go for. Beige so quite neutral but then it's also got colour on it so you can mix it with different coloured leggings and stuff which is the kind of thing I like because you can start different ways so yeah i thought this was really cute again size three to four i've also got luca his first ever zara jumper i thought i was gonna have to wait a while to get his first jumper from zara because i think in the style of jumpers that i like from there i think they start at like nine to twelve months which is only four month old so i thought i would have quite a while to wait but i said in my last video he is a chunk <laughs> it's four month old currently in six to nine month clothing i've started buying at nine to twelve month now because i'm trying to get on top of it a little bit so that i don't have to panic buy it like i did last time this i've actually got in at 12 to 18 months there because like i said i like these to be a little bit bigger and oversized especially because they are a little bit pricier so it means that they'll last a little bit longer as well so i got this in at 12 to 18 months which is ridiculous to be buying it for a four month old. I'm not even joking when I say he'll be wearing this within the next month. <laughs> He's growing that much. But yeah, how cute is this? I love the colour of this. This khaki green kind of colour is my absolute favourite on Luca. I just love it. This and like creamy beige colours as well I really like. But in terms of colour, this is just my favourite. So yeah, I thought that was really cute. This one was £14.99. I don't know why the prices are all different with the jumpers. That's three different jumpers, three different prices, but they're all the same kind of like quality so i don't really understand that but yeah i absolutely love this and i'm so excited i've got his first zara jumper <laughs> the last thing that i've got from zara is a pair of jeans for ali this is her first ever pair of jeans i've been putting off buying jeans for quite a while for her because i, I just associate with jeans with not being very comfy and i obviously want her to be comfy so i've been putting it off for a while but she really likes wearing denim i've got her a denim dress denim skirt they're the things that 
that she points to in a wardrobe and she wants to wear it all the time. Her denim jacket as well, she's obsessed with it. So I know she loves wearing denim. The denim bits that she's already got and loves, they're all from Zara as well. So I know that the Zara denim is quite soft, it's quite a soft denim. So I figured we'd be safe with a pair of jeans from there as well. So I've got her first little pair of jeans. How cute are these? Decided to get them in grey instead of your typical blue denim. I just thought these were nice and I thought they'd go with quite a lot as well. These were $16.99 which again I think is a little bit pricey but I know she's going to get a lot of wear out of them. I got these in a size 3 to 4 which might be a little bit big to begin with. So I'm going to move on to next. I've only got two things from there. So the first thing that I got is this furry sleep suit. This is so cute. I cannot go. Feels really thick and warm and Luca is going to be so comfy in this. It's going to be really nice and cosy. It really annoys me that next don't put the prices on the tag because I can't remember how much this was. Do you know what? I'm going to get it up on my phone. So this was £12 and yeah it's in a really nice fleecy material. It's so cute. I love the pattern on this. Like I said I really like beigey kind of colours on Luca. I think they look adorable. This is a sleep suit but I've not really got him it to sleep in. I've mainly got him it to wear on a day to day if we're going to be out of the house and I'm worried it's going to be a little bit cold. I just thought this would be nice and cosy for him. I got that in at 9 to 12. And then I got him a little cardigan. You'll see it later on actually in this video. I was wearing a beigey kind of coloured cardigan from Next. And I said in the video that I absolutely loved it. It's, honestly, it's my favourite cardigan. I just love it so much. So, because he's going to be growing out of that very soon, I thought I would go on to Next and see if I could get him another cardigan. And this is the one that I found, which... I think it's very cute. It's got a little giraffe on it, which is adorable. And then it just says wild and free on the back. This was £16. Again, I know he'll get a lot of wear out of this because if it's anything like the other one, he wears that constantly. This last stuff is from H&M. And the first thing that I've got him, I am absolutely obsessed with. How cute are these little dungarees? I love Luca in dungarees. These are in a cord kind of material. And again, my favourite colour for in like a nice deep khaki green. I just think they're adorable. I do find that H&M sizes come up quite big. That's a good thing with Luca because it means that with how quick he's growing, it means that things will fit in for a little bit longer. <laughs> so we like that with H&M. So yeah, I've got him these. They'll be a little bit big to begin with, but I'll just be able to roll up the leg a little bit. So these were 19 99 I've just had a look, but I did get them with a discount on. I think I got like a 25% discount, so I think I got them for like £15 instead. So yeah, absolutely love these. Very excited for him to be able to wear them. I've then got him this knitted jumper. I've learned that I really like like knitted things on Luca. I just think they look very cute. So I've picked him up a knitted jumper. It's in like a dark grey kind of colour. I got this in size 12 to 18 months because like I said I like jumpers to be a little bit oversized. I feel like a knitted jumper will be very cute oversized. This was £9.99. It also came with a matching hat as well which it's in the wardrobe. I forgot to get it out but I don't need to show you that. It's a matching hat to go with it. It's very cute. And then last but not least I've got him a few sleep suits from H&M. So I've got him a few footless sleep suits. My thinking behind this is that if they've not got feet in, they might last him a little bit longer. With the sleep suits that have got the feet in, he just seems to be growing out of them really quickly. So hopefully these will last him a little bit longer. Especially because the sizing is a little bit bigger, like I said. These sleep suits in particular, I... I've bought quite a few of these in the past for Ali. I just love them. I'm not even joking. They are probably the best sleep suits that she has got. She still wears them now. They go up to size three to four years, I think. And I'm not even joking when I say that some of the ones that she still wears now are size one and a half to two years. And like I said, she's in two to three, going into three to four. But yet these one and a half to two years sleep suits still fit her. And that's just because the sizes, like I said, are quite big. And with them being footless, it means that, I don't know, there's just more room. So I thought these would be perfect to pick up a few for Luca. Hopefully these are going to 
to last a lot longer it's going to get a lot of wear out of them and yeah I'd, I want to pick up loads for here they're actually quite cheap as well so these two these were $3.99 each they were meant to be $5.99 but if you remember with H&M they have member prices on certain items and these were $3.99 for the member price so yeah these were $3.99 but then I also add a discount when I ordered these plus if you remember every now and then they give you like £3 off your next purchase and I think I had it with these as well so in the end I ended up paying around £2 something each for these which is amazing this one was slightly more i think i got this one for four pound instead which is still amazing for something like this especially with how long and how much wear is going to get out of it but yeah these are the pans i got this one's got animals all over it love the colors in this one it's very cute this one's got cars all over it it's in blue i'm not usually a massive fan of blue but for some reason i really like this and then this is just a black and white one with animals all over it again but yeah like i said i definitely want to try and pick him up a few more of these i also forgot to say these wash really well and they can go in the tumble dryer without shrinking i've not dared put anything of lucas in the tumble dryer even if it says on the label that you can just because with how quick it grows i don't want to risk them shrinking in as well so i've not dared put any of his in the tumble dryer yet but i know i'm gonna be fine with these so at least i know i can dry these quicker but yeah that is everything that i've been picking up over the past week literally obsessed with every single thing that i've got there but yeah i thought i'd just quickly show you these at the beginning of this vlog the rest of the video like i said is just little bits that i've filmed over the past week so yeah i hope you enjoy the rest of the video Whenever you see me and I've got really chapped in the corners of my lips, I just know that I'm going through it. It gets really sore and it's always when I'm run down and stressed and just poorly and it's just awful. <laughs> Luckily I've only got it on this side today because usually it's both sides of my lips and that is so painful. <laughs> so luckily I've only got this part today. So I'm just trying to smother my lips in lip balm. <laughs> this is the P. Louise lip mask and I'm just smothering myself in it to try and make this a little bit better. Hi, 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 Say hello. Hello. Hello beautiful people. Hello beautiful people. Good girl. Oh daddy. How did you do? Oh you want a cuddle as well? You crazy. Ah. Good morning. Nanny. Morning. Nanny. Nanny. <laughs> I thought I'd start a little vlog today. I feel like I've not spoke to the camera in a little while. I've been a little stressed for like the past week or two. Unlike the week leading up to my period and then the week of my period, my anxiety is so bad. I am fully out of order for like two weeks straight every month. And then as soon as my period finishes, I'm back to my normal self. Like yesterday, I was in tears. I thought I was the worst mum ever. Failure in life. Just everything. And then I woke up this morning and I'm like, Period, it's fine. I woke up knowing I'm fabulous, so it's okay. <laughs> My hormones must be all over the place at the minute because it's always been bad, but it's just on another level at the minute. I feel like I need to remind myself that I am still only four months postpartum, so my hormones are definitely going to be all over the place. Is this not the cutest cardigan you've ever seen? I absolutely love it. I'm going to be so good when it doesn't fit him anymore. Literally, as soon as it comes out for wash, it's straight back on. <laughs> yeah, I thought I would start a little vlog today. We're just having a cozy week at home. I'm having like a a reset kind of week to try and get myself back on track after the last two weeks. <laughs> try and get myself back on track before I'm out of action again in another couple of weeks time. <laughs> Honestly it's like two weeks out of every month it's ridiculous. So we'll make the most of it while I'm feeling okay. <laughs> so we're gonna prioritise nice home cooked meals, cleaning the house, having candles lit all the time to just try and zen me out a little bit. Yeah, I'm just gonna have a nice cozy week so I thought I'd bring you along with it. I feel like I need to show you my nails as well because I am absolutely obsessed with them. I did them a few days ago to try and make myself feel a little bit better and I'm just obsessed. I feel like they're definitely the best I've done in a long time. So I've used Builder Gel and then I've done a little red glittery French tip. It's the first time I've ever done any sort of like French tip and 
it myself. I literally just used the sponge method to do the tip, so I did cheat a little bit, but I feel like they've turned out really well. So yeah, I'm obsessed with them. They're a little bit Christmassy, but not too Christmassy. But I feel like these are definitely going to be my go-to nails for a while. But yeah, absolutely obsessed. stress-free week has turned in to the complete opposite. Both kids are poorly. Luca was really bad yesterday. He was literally crying non-stop all day. He seems slightly better today. He's not crying right now anyway, so that's a bonus. <laughs> But now I think Ali's started with it as well. <laughs> Iced latte is definitely needed. I bought a milk frother and it honestly makes the best iced lattes ever. Iced lattes and hot chocolates, but I'm definitely needing iced latte this morning. <laughs> we are not getting much sleep at the minute. Deck ended up sleeping on Ali's floor last night because she was quite bad. And then for the past two nights, Luca has ended up in our bed. <laughs> so I'm definitely not feeling as stress-free as I wanted to. <laughs> Hopefully it start getting a little bit better soon. Hopefully me and Deck don't catch whatever it is they've got. My mouth, like I said, it gets all chapped when I'm stressed. That's getting worse. And I've also got a mouth full of ulcers, which also happens when I'm stressed. So we're staying in his pyjamas all day we're having a nice pajama day i absolutely love these pajamas these are from primark i'm pretty sure i gave birth in this shirt to be honest so it even survived all of the blood <laughs> but yeah primark do the best pajamas absolutely love them and i do not plan on taking these off all day we're staying like this i think the only plan i've got for today if i even get around to it because i might even not be able to do this is i want to make some banana muffins with the bananas that are going off i want to use them before they get too bad and banana muffins always go down really well in this house so i'm going to try and make some of them if i get chance but apart from that we're literally doing nothing <laughs> and i feel like it's going to be like that for the rest of the week as well so what a bad week i've chosen to vlog <laughs> Oh, oh, baby. Shall we show baby? Hello, baby boy. Hello, baby. Hello, little man. <laughs> are you feeling a little bit better today? You still poorly, are you, little man? You do not like the camera being on anyone other than you, do you? <laughs> wow. We've actually managed to make the banana muffins. Are you trying to pinch one? <laughs> We've already eaten like three of them anyway. I always use this same recipe from my Rebecca Wilson fast family food book. They're literally so quick and easy to do, which is why I've managed to do them even with two poorly kids. I got these reusable silicone muffin cases from B&M and honestly, they are a game changer. I need them to bring them out in more colours because I would honestly buy them all. And we've got a chicken karma in the slow cooker. I could not live without my slow cooker. I use it all the time, but especially on days like today when the kids are poorly it makes it so much easier to have a nice cooked meal i've literally just thrown this together while at luca's having a nap does anybody else's toddler just have to walk around with the backpack on all the time because of this Mommy. cheeky monkey just needs to wear it all the time don't you boo boo cheese cheese you just love being on the camera <laughs> cheese Friday. The kids are still poorly, so if it wasn't for the fact I've got an eye appointment, then I wouldn't believe in the house at all this week, I don't think. But I'm going blind, I need my eyes tested. <laughs> I am so tired today. I just tried getting ready and the best we've got is slick black hair because that's just the easiest to do. And I put a little bit of brow pencil through my brows as well, but that's as far as I got because I was just too tired to carry on. I use a hair mask to slip back my hair because it's just the easiest and I feel like it's a little bit healthier on the hair. 
hair so i use a hair mask to just slick it in place and when i was doing it today i realized that i've got a little bit of hair growing back i've been complaining so much about how i'm losing my hair with the postpartum hair loss but i don't know if you can tell but i've actually got little hairs sticking up at the front which i i'm gonna take i don't even care if it looks stupid because at least my hair's growing back so at least that's cheered my day up a little bit today but yeah i'm going to get my eyes tested because i i'm struggling to see i'm wearing this fleece gilet today from primark it's so cozy hello baby boy are you gonna do some rolling over are you gonna do some rolling over <laughs> We're officially at the age where the coffee table gets moved to the side so that little man can do some rolling. You've mastered the rolling over now though, haven't you? Yeah. You get a little bit stuck sometimes, but we're pretty much there. Yeah. yeah. I need to go put some tan on. Yeah. <laughs> Say hello. I am looking uh, so pale. I need to put some tan on. You look beautiful though. <laughs> Cheese. 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 <laughs> it's another poly day today. Oh, baby. Wow. Oh, baby. 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 Oh, oh, oh. We're on like day three of no sleep at all pretty Mommy. much yeah baby no 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 you're the one that's been keeping us up no, no, no. you little liar no <laughs> it's literally like day three of deck sleeping on ali's floor and luca being in our bed day three no. day four yes dad Mommy. But yeah, the kids are still bad. They seem to be 10 times worse on a night. They're just not sleeping at all. It doesn't help as well that Luca, before he got poorly, we was in the middle of the form of sleep regression. So I think it's just, it's hitting us so bad at the minute. We hit every single sleep regression with Ali and I feel like it's gonna happen again with Luca. I am gonna try and get out of my pajamas today, but I can't make any promises. I do not know how Deck has made it to work. It's Saturday today and he's working all weekend. Don't know how he's functioning. I'm very proud of him because I would not be able to on this little sleeve. Also, update on the eyes. I do need glasses. I wasn't just imagining my eyesight getting worse. It is actually getting worse. I basically just need them for like driving and just seeing further away. So yeah, I do need glasses and I've got to wait two weeks to get them now. I've picked out the ones I'm wanting. Oh, cheese. Cheese. I'm going to watch Alvin and the Chicken oh, no. Valley. Oh, no. <laughs> what are you sitting on me for? <laughs> I've just put some tan on to try and make myself feel a little bit better and I feel like it's gone really orange on the face. It definitely won't look like this once I've washed it off. I always still look pale even with tan on. But yeah, I've made it out of my pyjamas mainly because Luca threw up on me so I kind of had no choice. But at least it's made me get ready for the day. <laughs> I already feel a little bit better now I've put some tan on. The little man's come to join us and we're getting a little bit aggy in his brown hair. And I look even more orange when I'm holding him. There's a nana for each. Yeah. We started weaning a little man last weekend when he turned four months. I do know he's supposed to wait until six months, but we was advised by our health visitor that we could start at four months because this little man is a little chunk, aren't you? He was £10 for when he was born, so a very big baby. And by 11 weeks, he literally weighed the same amount as your average seven month old. I can't remember exactly how much it was. We were in hospital at the time, it's when he had bronchiolitis. <laughs> so he was around 11 week old and yeah, he weighed the same amount as what your average seven month old would weigh. And he is 17 week now, so... A lot bigger. <laughs> He's been drinking at nine ounce bottles since around nine, ten week old. He is just constantly hungry. So the health visitor said we could start weaning him. I haven't really been giving him it for the past few days because of him not being well. But he seems in a good mood at the minute. He's been on his bouncer. He seems happy. So I'm gonna try him with a little bit of porridge and see how we get on. I feel like I've not got an ending for this video. I think it ended quite so I'm gonna end it here instead. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the last clip I included was talking about weaning Luca and giving him some porridge and then I think he ended up going to sleep and not actually having the porridge so I didn't end up filming anything else. <laughs> I think he had it later on in the day and then I just 
I just didn't film. So yeah, I think that's all I got. To be fair, considering they were poorly all week, I did quite well at trying to vlog, even if it wasn't very interesting. <laughs> so I hope you liked the video anyway. Thank you so much for watching, especially if you got this far. <laughs> so yeah, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.